Alright there, welcome to number one geek, it is I, Saz. It is late at night, I can't sleep, and I have been playing Project Zomboid for a very long time before I started recording this. Because, yes, our character is out, he's ready, he's also gained a few skills on the way up as well. This is, this is basically been a full weekend of trying to get my character back to the way things were. So, uh, we're going to have to, first of all, check on my health. It's minor damage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I am overweight, so what I am going to do is I am just going to uh, pop a few things away in one of these uh, boxes here. Like the battery, this. Sneakers, the jeans. Now, the good news is. I might be one. Believe it or not, a bottle of water that was doing the problem. And the other good news is, is I have found a main map. Now, I find this is the pretty much the the critical. Route. Uh, thing. So what we've done is we started up here in Ra Drayton Weed Build, uh, and we've made all our way all the way down. I've literally fought for my life in Drayton. I stayed around Drayton a bit and did a bit more uh, stuff. Then once I moved down to what most people call the uh, northeast stop, uh, had a bit of a fight down there. Now Red Valley, unfortunately, was done. So, um, but by the time I'd finished with Drayton Rebuild and this area here, uh, we were pretty much up ready to uh, head down to Fort Redstone. Now, the interesting thing is there's a Lakewood cabin up here, which uh, some people tend to quite like to use as well. And there's another military complex up there. We won't deal with that military complex just yet, uh, because I need to get Fort Redstone 100% cleared out now. Um, which is going to be a bit of an issue because I haven't got rid of all of these guys yet. So that's going to be uh, an experience. Hmm, looks like I found a zombie here. So I will. Climb over. And give him a good smack in. It does seem to be that some, even though it's set to not spawn. Some of these guys have spawned again. Which I think is a bit disingenuous. Oh. I mean, they could have come in through the window. Our next job as well is to start using the facilities that we've got in this area to start taking apart. Ah! Crap! Oh, that was close. Ooh. That did not scare oh, Brown Trouser Time man. Brown Trouser Time. Come on, Sass. This place has killed you once. So we're gonna try learn our lessons. But 
somewhere, our last character is walking around. And we can't be having that. Let me zoom in. There we go. I mean, how did you get in there? Unless you spawned. Still got lots and lots to clean out here, but hopefully I can get most of it done today. And the truth of the thing is, Mike is going to be uh, very grateful to Willie for at least doing most of the work before he died. A horrible, horrible death by climbing into a pit of zombies, as you do. Right. Now, this is the area where I was defending last time and I am keen, very keen, to get this area at least clear of zombies, including the unfortunate corpse of Willy. The two guys with mullets are chasing me. Oh no, one of, one of them stopped. That's fine. And we'll give you a good smack in. Bang, 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 and on your bonce, where you go, come on you, I'm on rock concert, and the nice thing is I'm not one shot kitting, kitting, <laughs> one shot killing, so I'm not getting overconfident like I did last time. It's so easy to get overconfident in this game. And as soon as you do, it's usually your death. That's interesting. Where are the zombies that killed me last time? You know, thought they'd have been around. Which makes me worry that perhaps Willy is despawned. Or did Willy die? Oh no. I see poor old Willie. Uh, 
Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, have a bit of that sunshine. And a bit of that. A bit of that. A bit of that. A bit of that. Okay, okay. That's the first one. Next. Didn't want three of them coming. That has pulled away a couple of them. Splitting the group up, always a good, good option. Some sauce. You're next. And bear that. Fall over. Stump on the head. Looks like Willie might be last. Okay, Willie. Time to say thank you very much for your uh, efforts in the zombie apocalypse, but now it's time for us to put you off this mortal coil. Thank you and God bless. Right, I need to... Drop that backpack to the floor. And then put as much of Willy's stuff into that backpack as we can. Okay, that ain't working. So let's try to put it in my backpack. In fact, what we'll do is we'll put everything on the floor. Because the body might disappear. But the items won't. It's almost got an axe stuck in the back of a mitt. Okay, that's going to make life a little bit difficult. Oh, generator. 
Really? Oh, wow. Right, what I'm going to do, I think, it's because we have all these uh, items in here. We can, might be able to start at least unloading some of the stuff in here until that zombie comes out. Um, what have we got in here? I'm going to shove all these in here. If I can. Apart from this one zombie, I think I've now found the safe, a safe haven. Right, let's pick up. All the stuff. I'm on the floor with Willy. much as we can. Which appears to be everything, but we are overweight, so... I will worry about Willy's bag later. I won't get rid of the axe because I may need it. Keys? Nope. We'll pick up the bullets because I suspect a lot of them are going to be in here. Yeah. There's going to be quite a few things. I know, I know the M16s are there, and I know that apparently they're pretty good as weapons. And even though I'm very loath to actually use uh, rifled weapons, simply because a it makes so much darn noise. Let's uh, let's set up the home base, shall we? I'll. Uh, Take this bad boy down. Look at all this stuff. 
Let's just stop it. How much stuff there is. That takes forever to organise all this as well. Cool, cool. So that's sorted. So we've got all this bit up here, which is... Is it this one? And of course we've got this area here, which is also full of electronic stuff. And storage. So this is why this is my favourite place. I've, I've found this uh, one of my other areas. And so, I mean, you can destroy the stairs and then come out onto the platform on the outside here, which is always good. Right, so let me grab some food. I'll grab some chips for the moment. So, this is going to be our, our proper boo. Base of operations for those who don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Right. So now we're going to have to, not have to, but it's usually best that we clean out the rest of the uh, the area. And we're doing for time, plenty of time. So before we go into the main area, nice. We're going to. Uh, Spend some time kicking zombies' heads in. Oh. Speaking of which, okay, that's getting worrying that I'm doing one shot kills on this thing. Because we know what happened last time I started doing one shot kills. Wasn't pretty for any of us. Hello, a lady. Lady, lady. Oh, that's a bit of a bugger. Oh, should have to be stuck in there for the moment till I can safely shoot her. Now, let's make a hundred percent sure that there's no zombies in here. The nice thing is, is that the map won't uh, spawn them until I'm actually pretty much close to them or or see them in reality. So, breaking this door down. We'll only produce the zombies once. Uh, there's another. shot killing and that is worrying the heck out of me right now okay that's in up here that's cool I just want, I wonder if it's actually this area. Let's open this up, shall we? There we go. Oh, no. It's not going to let me. 
Okay, fair enough. We'll just tend to, tend to do it the old way. Old-fashioned way, so to speak. Just got to be careful of my uh, exertion. In fact, what I might do is before I enter this building here, with all of these zombies, I'll try to get all these zombies out of the... I'm going to take a seat. Okay, a little bit done. That's fine. Looks like some of these doors are either opened or broken open. The thing is, I know that this thing has a second floor on it, so it's more than likely that most of these zombies are up upstairs somewhere. But I just want to make 100% sure. If there's one piece of advice I will give anybody, is before you start looting, make sure your buildings are clear. And really, with this game, you want to try draw them out of the buildings where you have more space to manoeuvre and get away. Inside you are very vulnerable. Did I miss someone here? Oh, they might be outside actually, thinking about it. Now here's the danger point. There should be some stairs around here somewhere. Yeah, they're here. I can hear them already. Right, get the hell out of here. I want to draw them out. I think it's probably the safest option here. Come on, you. I know you can see me. Have a check out here while we're at it. Oh, you're out there. That's interesting. I'm 
Let's see if I can draw these guys out. Interesting. Don't rely on the one shot hits as. Where did you come from? Now that wasn't scary at all, was it? Take the key. Oh. Sounds like one of them stuck on a window. That'll be the window there. Bugger! God damn it. Um, okay. I guess that's probably how that person's gone through here. There's the door there. Lots of stuff to take apart around here.
don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of Willy's key ring now. Okay, so it was just that one up there that was causing the issue. That's fine. Right, there's one stuck on a roof here. I wonder if I can actually entice them off the roof by calling out to them. Maybe not. Oh yes, that's the woman caught in the corner. So, I've got one stuck on a roof, and I've got one stuck in a corner. Right. We've got a little bit of time left. We can at least open the door. And let some of the troops out. I still have my safe zone. This is the bit I haven't been looking forward to, folks. Ah, look at all those zombies. They are eventually going to get out of there. Really? All of them? I'm just wondering, no, if I use a gun, then the whole lot are going to come crashing down on me. Right, I could wait here for a long time, so I'm going to pause until they get through, and I'll be back with you then. Okie dokie. We've now let the horde out. Time to line a sight block so that I can start splitting them apart and taking them out individually.
the missiles. Don't rely on the single shot. It might never happen. At one time when you think you're going to need it. Or able to do it. To take Madam out here. See if we can spank these guys back around here. Looks might be able to take the two of these on. Like that hunting knife. Where are you, bugger? There you are. Right, I want to take these out first so they don't come up behind me. sure none of these have got any keys that I might need. Oh, I think I may have upset a few. Tired. Okay, that's fine. By the time I wake up in the morning, I'm pretty sure that most of these will have come outside exploring anyway. So we're still currently um, going to be using this area because we've got nowhere really to sleep. I 
I'm actually surprised. Oh, have they managed to get out now? That's a lot of zombies, though. Holy mother, there's that a lot of zombies. I mean, if I'm one shot killing, then cool. But I can't rely on it. As we know, mistakes can still be made. You get overconfident and you jump over a fence and land in a whole group of zombies. And you're pretty much dead from there. Let's see if we can attract any more zombies out. This is basically going to be the uh, de facto way of doing things. Keys there. Unfortunately, I can't get to it just yet. Whoa. Let's get that key because you never know if we're going to need it. She got a key? No. Just keep my eyes out for keys. There's a key there. Where are you, key? There you go. Grab that key. Because that could unlock stuff in here so I don't end up having to uh, bust my way in. And potentially... Set a shed load of zombies. Am I right? There's another key. And another key there. You know what I'm going to do? For the first time, I'm going to actually keep an eye on the zombies here. Because I don't want to end up walking into a trap. I'll get the pizza delivery boy here. Baseball. There's a set of ladders up there, isn't there? Yeah, I'm not going to take on all these. But I have made a move. I'm 
military brat here. Yeah, it's uh I'll be able to take him out. Maybe these two as well. Check for keys. Yep, there's a key and a hunting knife. Nice. Alright, can I not pick up this can? Oh shit. Holy crap, that was lucky. I am pushing it here. Stop it, Saz! Ah ha ha! Oh, couldn't even. Uh, annoys me so much when I do that. And I don't know why it happens, but I just can't actually just do anything. I'm just stuck there. I can't react. So the only thing I can do is just get the hell out of there. It wasn't, over, it wasn't overconfidence, it was over-reliance on the uh, game to not be a beta, I think. You've got to understand that this game is beta and things go wrong. So if the developers are watching it, there is a thing where you can't seem to, once you're attacked, uh, get yourself into any sort of defensive position to start a spiffo tie, eh? I'm a man of keys. A lot of people don't bother with the keys, but they will help you when you least expect it. You'll try to open a door and then suddenly you hear the lo unlocking noise. That'll do donkey. Any keys? No. Oh, summer hat. Like your summer hat. Gonna smack it off your head, though. Okay.
Oh crap. There's a key. Oops. I think I might need to clean some dirty bandages as well. Ah, my police deputy jacket's gone. That'll be the reason why. Okay. comes a Bob Ross. There goes a Bob Ross. Okay, that may not have been my wisest uh, decision there. I'm making a bit of a mess here, aren't I? Sorry there, mate. Didn't see you. Well, I did, but, you know. Nice try. Look for keys. Well, it's half keeping my eye out for any sort of. Uh... Bitey opponents. Like you. Oh, there's a key there. Good.
Hello. Goodbye. Oh, did I just see bandage there? An adhesive bandage, right. Uh, is that a fat? That's the first time I've seen an overweight zombie. How cool was that? Got to be really careful here, Saz. You, you are pushing it so badly. And you kick yourself every time it happens. And yet you still do it. Pizza World server open. Oh, right, okay. So she was a pizza server. At least they're coming in manageable droves. Oh. He says. Did not like the sound of that door breaking, whatever that was. You know what? Sod the damn keys. Let's forget about the keys for the moment. Let's... Oh! Try to concentrate on smacking zombies' heads in. Seeing as I'm in the hospital, let's have a quick look, see if I can get some disinfectants, etc, etc. Some painkillers, let's take those pills. There you go. Okay, they must be above me. Don't want to get caught in this corner, Saz. You want an escape route, mate? Ah, crap! Woo! Pushing it! <sighs> right. Let's take a break. Let's stop to uh, smell the roses, etc, etc. Let's uh, eat some canned tuna.
Mm, they're finally broken through that those metal bars, so they can break through them. Just takes them a little while. I need to sort this guy out. Does he have a key? Actually, there you go. See, that's what keys get you. In locked doors. The fortunate thing is, is I think a lot of them are actually upstairs. Which I believe goes, is up here. So if I can clear the bottom floor out first, I've just got to be careful that I don't get caught out like I did last time. And have to... Oh, there we go, it's happened again! I'm going to forget about the um, the keys for the moment. There's just too many for me to stop and... to keep presenting itself to me. Are you going to say no? Ah, oh, bugger. It was nice while it lasted. Now I've really got to be careful. I don't have that one shot uh, attack anymore. In fact, I think what we'll do now is I might deal with these. This one here. All these stragglers. I'm not going to be able to deal with those. Hopefully they'll split themselves up very shortly. I'm going to need a wash. Is that an Air Force pilot? Come on. Come 
cool. See, I think the stairs are literally just up there. That's right, so... Right guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there for the moment. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. Because that's what it's all about. Your entertainment. Uh, if you really super like it, don't forget to uh, press the uh, subscribe button. If you super duper 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 like it, why don't you press the bell icon as well. So you're updated for whenever I make a new video and upload it onto YouTube. So all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching, guys. You take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.